The Joint Strike Fighter Program was set up to produce a next-generation jet fighter for use by the U.S. Air Force, U.S. Navy, and U.S. Marine Corps. It will result in the mass production of a combat aircraft far superior to any other in existence. Although there will be an STOVL version for the Navy and Marines, the majority produced will be conventional and destined for the Air Force. The contenders are the Boeing X-32 and the Lockheed Martin X-35. Both JSF aircraft utilize stealth technology. This comes in the form of plan-form alignment, sharp chin edges and angled surfaces to deflect radar, extensive infrared coatings, and the use of specialized nozzle design which enables the mixing of cool air with jet exhaust in order to reduce the aircraft's heat signature. Because the JSF aircraft will operate at low altitudes, they also feature visual stealth technology. These measures include the use of counter-illumination techniques which match the luminance of the aircraft with that of the sky behind. In addition, low-profile avionic functions are provided as standard within a light and cost-effective internal suite. Communications are carried out via antennas built directly into the aircraft's smart skin. This allows the JSF pilot to receive information from any other friendly source, including satellites and observers, and will lead to the creation of the US military's online operational database. The physical layout of the JSF cockpit is conventional. For maximum pilot ease, flight and propulsion controls are fully integrated. The JSF pilot has access to both large format LCD cockpit displays and a wide angle color binocular HMD. The JSF aircraft navigate using a combination of an onboard terrain database, inertial and GPS inputs, supplemented by information received from other friendly sources. The JSF aircraft are the most advanced jet fighters under development anywhere in the world. The Boeing X-32 was designed as a replacement for both the F-16 and the F-A-18. Development began soon after the Advanced Tactical Fighter Contest selected the F-22 to go into production. The fundamental design feature of the X-32 is the propulsion system. The Boeing JSF engine is designed around an ATF engine core operating with a fixed cycle and fitted with the largest practical fan for a fighter. This means it delivers the greatest possible non-augmented thrust. Boeing has designed an unusual airframe with a low unloaded weight relative to its internal capacity and load lifting capability. The key feature of this design is a broad, deep, moderately swept delta wing built as a single unit with tip-to-tip -tip one piece thermoplastic skins. The basic aerodynamic controls remain conventional with leading edge flaps and two segment training edge flapperons. These are augmented at low speeds by the pitch only thrust vectoring exhaust, making the Boeing X-32 one of the most agile modern aircraft in existence. The Lockheed Martin X-35 makes use of advanced propulsion technology developed by their Skunk Works team in the late 1980s. It is comprised of a conventional aft-mounted fighter engine complete with a vectoring aft nozzle. The result is a dual cycle system with a balanced fore and aft distribution of power which allows the aircraft to augment its vectored thrust at critical moments. One perceived advantage of this system is that it can be installed in a conventional airframe. As such, the X-35's design is reminiscent of the F-22, featuring a conventional clip delta wing, aft-mounted horizontal surfaces on the same plane as the wing, and canted fins located over the wing training edge. In addition, it also has inclined body sides and a forward chin fuselage. The X-35 has one internal bay running almost the entire length of the fuselage. This special feature allows the aircraft to simultaneously carry large weaponry and operate stealthily. In addition, the X-35's wing sweep and raked inlet lips allow it to easily operate at low speeds, a key requirement for air-to-ground combat. 
the Lockheed Martin X-35 is an extremely cost-effective package of high-technology weaponry. To maximize the element of surprise, stealth capabilities have become essential for first-day missions. Therefore, the JSF aircraft are designed to carry a substantial weapons load internally, since stealth capability demands the internal carriage of weapons. The nominal internal weapon load for the JSF aircraft comprises two AMRAAM radar guided missiles for self-defense and two JDAM guided bombs. The capabilities of the AMRAAM are well known. It is an active radar-seeking missile with its own built-in radar. It is initially guided by the launch aircraft's weapon control system, but switches to its own radar and locks on once it reaches critical range to target. The JDAM is the baseline air-to-surface weapon. In its basic form, it is a simple iron bomb with the addition of a tail section containing an INS GPS guidance system. Once the launch aircraft's weapon control system has guided the pilot to the release point, it downloads the correct trajectory to the JDAM. Once released, it requires no further targeting. JSF aircraft also have the capability to carry two semi-precise ordnance truck weapons internally. The JSOW is a modular weapon which can carry any warhead or combination of submunitions up to a total mass of 450 kilos. It uses GPS INS guidance and is effective against air defense systems, non-armored vehicles and parked aircraft. The WCMD is a short-range, cost-effective weapon with a simple inertial guidance system. It is used to improve the accuracy of the US Air Force's sensor-fused weapon. Each WCMD carries 10 of these submunitions. They are dispensed as the weapon nears the ground. Each submunition has an infrared sensor, which allows it to home in on any nearby vehicles before detonating. Other advanced weapons continue to be developed, many of which are smaller than today's equivalents. This is because low-cost precision guidance systems have made smaller weapons practical since a more accurate weapon could kill a given target with a smaller warhead. The JSF aircraft will not only be the most technologically advanced jet fighters in the world, they will also be equipped with devastating state-of-the-art weaponry.